Good morning, everybody. It's Mike, and thanks for calling in and joining me this morning. I appreciate you. Yesterday, I uh, had an interesting conversation with an agent, and her question to me was, when is it okay to kill the co-op agent? <laughs> and I said, well, of course, it's never okay to want to kill, to actually kill the co-op agent, but I understand what you're talking about. I fully get it, and I've been there myself. How about you? Have you ever had that co-op agent that screams at you, that is so emotionally overcharged over really nothing that it makes any kind of conversation almost impossible because they're just screaming? Uh, how about the one, and this one's maybe worse, right? The condescending one, the one that talks down to you. Like, well, I've been in the business for 30 years and and you're just an idiot and you don't know what you're talking about. That's their whole tone, right? Uh, how about the one that just uses inappropriate language? They cuss at you, they call people names, they're so derogatory. What in the world do we do? How do we handle these people without losing our minds or actually killing them? Okay, because no, you can't do that. Uh, I want to give you a strategy for this, one that I had to learn in my business and I hope will help you. Uh, first of all, let me just get rid of any uh, fallacies that you might have in your mind. You aren't going to make these people go away. There's a big, long line waiting for you of these people ahead of you in your career. So you're not going to fix them. They're not fixable. Uh, so what do we do? How do we handle this? Well, first, before I give you the strategies, I want you to kind of understand where it comes from with these people. And it comes from a couple of different places. Number one, they've learned. It's a learned behavior. They've learned in their life that when they get like that with other people, they get what they want. They're really no different than the three-year-old who has a temper tantrum because you won't give them what they want. They're really no different than that. And every time you give in to the three-year-old, the next temper tantrum is gonna be more intense. You're teaching them that when they act out, they get what they want. People that you deal with that are, going, that are acting like this have usually learned through their life that when they get loud, when they get hostile, when they get condescending, they get what they want. The second place it comes from is within all of us, all of us, when I need another transaction, when I need this deal to close, then my emotional intensity greatly increases. So you're either, or you could be both, you're either dealing with somebody who just has learned behavior over their lifetime. You aren't going to change that or they need that transaction to close desperately in order to meet their obligations. And you know, this is why I tell everybody this, you always want another transaction. I always want another deal. I don't need it. When you need it, this becomes a really, really bad job. I'd rather pour tar on the highway than need another real estate transaction. So the way I stay away from that is I work on my marketing, I work on my business building activities every day so that I always have a full pipeline of business coming into me. I always have a plethora of prospects so that I don't ever feel like I'm desperate, like I need this to close because then all kinds of bad things happening. Acting out out of, out of emotion is one of them. So how do you deal with this? Well, first you gotta kinda understand where it's coming from in other people. They're either being manipulative or they're desperate, okay? I don't say that that means you have to put up with it. I don't, and I wanna give you a strategy for dealing that. I just think you need to understand it before you start wondering what you've done wrong. There's no excuse for acting out emotions by a real estate professional ever ever there's never an excuse for doing that so what i will say to you is you can be emotional 
to tell you not to be emotional when you have so much money on the line and we develop strong personal connections with our customers sometimes just because of the nature of our job you're going to be emotional for a wide variety of reasons but as a pro you can never display it ever and I need you to really clearly understand me on this even if the other agent is displaying it you can never display it you are a pro you are calm cool and collected you can hang up the phone walk outside and scream your head off I fully get it but you never display emotions in the transaction okay so what do you do then well let me give you my strategy dealing with it in the moment without preparation is too hard nobody's that good you're not that quick so I establish boundaries I think each of us get to decide what our boundaries are uh, but you better decide or you're gonna get pushed around by these people and you're always gonna leave it angry and frustrated why well you did you weren't prepared when it happened and nobody's quick enough to deal with it without some advanced thought so I'll share with you what my boundaries are they don't have to be yours you can establish broader or more restricted boundaries it's up to you it's your business but to use an example here's what my boundaries are I will work a problem with anybody as long as it takes that's my job I woke up this morning expecting to have problems today I don't really know what they're gonna be but I understand that problems are a function of doing business you want to have no problems fine just don't do any business uh, then problems of a different nature creep in right right I expect to have problems today and part of my job as a professional is to help bring solutions to them so I'm willing to work with anybody on a problem as long as much as it takes with patience and diligence here's what I will not tolerate for me you're not gonna yell at me you're not and you're not gonna use profanity those are my boundaries if you start raising your voice or if you start using inappropriate language I'm gonna uh, ask you to stop I might say something like this hey Joe I need you to lower your voice a little bit okay please don't yell at me it makes it hard to get to a solution and if Joe continues to yell at me I say Joe I ask you to stop yelling if you do it again I'm gonna have to end the call now see I don't say that with emotion I don't yell back at Joe I'm not gonna wrestle with pigs why because you both get muddy but the pig likes it so I'm not gonna wrestle with pigs I'm not gonna yell back at Joe I'm not gonna start cursing at Joe if he's using profanity with me I'm not I'm gonna stay calm cool and collected and I'm gonna say Joe I need you to stop yelling Joe I ask you to stop yelling if you continue to do it I'm gonna end the call the third time Joe yells I end the call I don't say goodbye I don't tell him that he yelled for the third time he knows what he's doing I just hit the little red button on my phone end that's what I do so if I ever hang up on you that's why I warned you twice now politely patiently and you refuse to listen so now I just end the call but see Joe and I have a transaction going on so I'm still a little stuck right I still have to deal with Joe well, here's what I do I end the call I turn to my computer I send Joe an email Joe it appears that we're unable to have a professional conversation from this point forward all communication will be done via email if Joe continues to act out via email I will start copying in my broker and Joe's broker on the communication Joe it appears that even through email we're unable to have a reasonable conversation so from this point forward I'm now copying my broker and your broker on all communication that's what I do I still have to deal with Joe I just don't have to listen to him those are my boundaries 
you, it's your business. You can establish whatever boundaries you want in your business, as long as they're fair, as long as they're reasonable, as long as they still allow a little give and take and boundaries. I don't just hang up on Joe the first time he yells. I'm going to remind him. And a lot of times when I do that, Joe will say, you know what, I'm sorry, Mike. I'm just, my customers give and putting a lot of pressure on me. I didn't mean to take it out on you. I'm like, that's fine. I get it. I've been there too. Let's just, as two pros, let's just talk to each other that way. I'll do this with customers too. I'm not put, I will put up with a lot. I won't put up with that. Now, Folks, here's the advantage to you in handling this in this, a similar manner. That's where your personal power lies. You aren't fixing Joe. You aren't. And if you get into a battle of wills with Joe, then you're just wrestling with pigs. Maintain your own personal power. Maintain your own level of professionalism. You're, because they acted out, doesn't mean you can, and no, you don't get to kill them, though I get the feeling. Um, you don't drop your gloves just because they drop theirs. You maintain your level of professionalism, you maintain your personal dignity, that's where your power lies, and you don't allow other people to yank on your chain. Okay? And if you continue to have a problem with it, escalate it to your broker. If you work here, escalate it to me and I'll deal with it broker to broker. I will guarantee you something. It won't be the first time Joe's brokers ever heard this. Guarantee you. Joe has probably learned over a lifetime that when he behaves like this, he pushes people around and gets what he wants you're going to let Joe know, nah, you're not doing it with me, buddy. You're going to start acting like a pro or we're just going to email back and forth. Maintain your own personal power, folks. You'll find that your blood pressure stays a lot lower. You'll find that you enjoy this business a lot more and you'll find that you're a lot more productive. And speaking of productive, here's what I want you to do. You know what I'm going to say. I want you to go out there and make it happen for yourself today.